Hello everybody, Bets Golden here. Today I am coming at you with a stuffed envelope swap that I am doing with a fellow blogger um, and fantastic designer in the mixed media world, Candy. Um, and I'm going to have her information for you as well so you can go check her out. But we are collaborating and I am mailing her a stuffed envelope and she's mailing me a stuffed envelope and I am going to do hers in a Moulin Rouge theme. So before I go any further, I was taking a look through my digital arts here and I noticed that there is a little bit of nudity. So if if you are sensitive to that, um, it's done in an artistic manner, but if you're sensitive to that, you might want to stop watching right now. Um, otherwise, we'll just go on. I don't, I'm not afraid of nudity. I don't shy away from it. The woman's body is a beautiful thing. Um, it's artistic, it's lovely, and so therefore, I like to showcase it from time to time in my art, but I can't always share it because, you know, social media and whatnot. And I want to be respectful of, you know, people's views for the most part and more so the Facebook policies and Instagram policies that I usually utilize to share my things. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to put together or the base of what I'm thinking I'm going to use to put together uh, her stuffed envelope. I'm using a couple different digital downloads from Calico Collage. This one, this is the main one that I thought about, um, gave me the idea, it was my inspiration. So pretty much all of these pieces are going to be incorporated into it. And this is what it's going to be all about. I'm thinking about lining my envelope with this sheet. Now this is the spring peacock sheet and I'm, sheet, and I'm actually not going after so much the peacocks, though the peacock feathers would work great in it. I'm going after more of the color scheme in this area to blend in and fill in those holes, so to speak, and just to give the envelope more personality and depth and character. Then I'm going to, I found this digital download. I really like this one. And what caught my eye was her. I've used her before. She's in some of my other pieces. Um, and then these are the other ones. I think these would work really well on a domino. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet. And then another piece here from the Spring Peacock line. I absolutely love the pocket. <laughs> so I thought that'd be pretty with this. This is a fun collage sheet, Moulin Rouge themed. Candy is into ATCs and she is a fantastic ATC artist. And so I want to give her some ATCs to work with, some bases for her to play with. I believe a stuffed envelope, I've never done one before, but I believe a stuffed envelope is with things that are, are totally done and then things that one can use in their art. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of both for her. These bookmarkers I thought would be fun. I'm probably going to go with something along the lines of this one or this one. I'm, I'm trying not to get the full peacock in. I don't know. I'm just not feeling it for this. However, once I get started, that all may change. And then I'm going to make her some bottle cap images, possibly a locket with a couple of these beautiful images that fall right into line with that burlesque Moulin, um, Moulin Rouge type feel. And then last but not least, I thought that she would really enjoy just a set of ATC's bases that 
she could put in her stash and play with. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm kind of learning as I go. And of course, the plan that I have in my head is not necessarily going to be what transpires into the envelope or how it all ends up. Um, and also, if you notice, I just use copy paper on these. So for this one, I'm going to make sure that I back it against some cardstock to give it some stability. This one, the first one actually is done on cardstock, so I'm going to be able just to, you know, put this on my brother's scan and cut and cut and be good to go on that. So I have a lot of work to do. I'm super excited. I think it's going to be so much fun. I want to throw in, you know, uh, some fun stuff. Um, I don't even know what that all means, but I wanted to show you what I'm going to get started and then I'll come back and show you what I've done with it. All right, so I'm back. I have everything for my loaded envelope. I learned that I was saying it wrong. It's a loaded envelope, not a stuffed envelope. I looked up a YouTube video on how to, well, several YouTube videos on loaded envelopes. Since I've never done this before, I thought it might be a good idea to do a little bit of research. And I found a really, really fantastic tutorial, several, on how to make this envelope. If you look up loaded envelope, you'll be able to, to find tons of tutorials on how to do this. But basically all you do is you take a 12 by 12 sheet. I'm using transparency because I liked the gold. And then um, I put in a, in the back here, this is a piece of uh, Rhenea foiled paper, just to add that purpley bling to it. And so you take your 12 by 12 and you basically score it on three sides at the three and one fourth mark on each side. So one side does not get scored. And then you fold it over and this goes up, but you don't seal that. That's going to be another pocket that we're going to stuff. And you flip down the edges. Some people like to curl this. If it was cardstock, I probably would have, have curled it instead of laying it flat with the brads, but I decided to do that instead. And then uh, you stuff it. So we're going to load this envelope and see how it comes together. And I'm going to show you as I do so the components that I made for this. So I'm going to, first of all, start off with just the extras. So these are just some doilies. And then I have this flower that I put together with my Jinka. <laughs> I was so happy. I pulled out my Jinka gun. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but basically it puts those little knobbies into the center and it holds everything together. And I have a ton of these centers. I, I was so thrilled I'd forgotten about it. Whoops. And then I have a cute little peacock feather that's doing nothing. I thought it would be nice to stuff in here too. And I made another one, another flower. So these are the components that I have uh, that I just, you know, made for just decoratorial purposes. Then the next thing I have here is I took this envelope. This is the Spring Peacock from Calico Collage and all the digital images I'm doing are, are from Calico Collage. Everything in this is from a digital image. And I put the extras in. So she is the ATC queen. She does beautiful ATCs. So I thought she might have fun making some ATCs with the extra images that I had for her. So this is just that. These are the extra images. They're beautiful. I don't like things to be perfectly matchy-matchy. I like the aesthetics of kind of a, just an underlying theme. So that's why we got peacocks in with some Moulin Rouge showgirls. And then this is just a longer piece of paper that I didn't use, so I figured I would just pass it on to her rather than keep it. It's fun. The, the whole purpose of this for me was not only to give her something that um, is already made, but she can repurpose or totally play with because it's fun to get a new perspective or, you know, she may not know about this particular line and it's fun to play with that. So anyway, all right, so I'm going to put these on in here 
and I think I'll just slide that on, to, on into the envelope first. Um, and then I have just this little Moulin Rouge card. I didn't do anything to it. I, I thought it would be fun to just have out so that you could, the theme of it maybe. So I'll probably put that in last. This is a magnet that I made. I took a bottle cap image, just punched it, put it in the bottle cap, obviously. There's a magnet on the back and I ran some glossy accents over it just to make it shine. So she can actually remove this, reuse this piece of paper or this card stock that on that I decked out for her and she can put that on her refrigerator or anywhere. Of course, I wanted to make a shaker card. So this is a shaker card and this little key up here is actually Tim Holtz. It says Paris on it, Moulin Rouge is France. So there you go. So anyway, there's the, the shaker and it does shake. That's kind of fun. Then I made this little card and I pop dotted it. And this tag, these tags, I used clear tags because I had them. I haven't used them in forever. And that's the first one. And then this is over it so you can kind of see her. And then of course I put on some fun matching ribbon and then the Moulin Rouge I distressed with some distressing ink by Tim Holtz to give it some color. Then I made two book markers for her as well. Those are pretty simple. I didn't want to do much to this because if she puts them in a book, it needs to be flat. And really the digital images, the art on this is just outstanding and beautiful. And I did three ATCs for her. She can add to her collection. This is uniquely for her. It's the first one. This is the second one some pop dots. This is the third one. And then last but not least, I created some jewelry that she can either pop onto um, a necklace or she can put it on a locket. She can put it on her purse or she can put it on her art. So that's the first one. And I did put these on paper clips simply because they can attach to the outside. I'm thinking, now this could change, I can run them down, all of them down here. I'm not sure yet though, but that may change. This is just, I think this is by, um, it's just in the jewelry department at Joann's. I, I found this, no, this is Tim Holtz. Pardon me, this is Tim Holtz. Really easy to do. I took one of the cards, the smaller cards, and put my bubble on first, my dome, cut around it, and then I adhered it with some beacon to this to make this. And I actually have a plan for this. There's a reason why this is on this chain. Here is another one. And this is a leftover from my stash. I found these lockets on sale at Joann's. So, and they're just the little domes. The only thing I used to glossy accent was that bottle cap. And then the last one of these. So she has her pick of what she wants to do with these. They could, they'd be beautiful on ATC cards. You know, there's so many uses for them. Jewelry, handbag, um, lockets. And then I had this in my stash and I just thought that it was perfect. I had made these and had a bunch of them. So I thought I'd give her one of those. So let's go ahead and stuff our, um, stuff our envelope. So I put that in probably a little bit prematurely, but let me, I'm going to put the bookmarkers in and then I'll put this in. Throw in a couple of these. 
probably in the back. The doilies. Moulin Rouge back here. My idea for this was to run it like a necklace through. Don't know if it'll work. We will see. I finally got that on there. I had to adhere it on the back with some washi tape. I wish it would stay up, but that's okay. So that's going to be the front of it. And let's go ahead and put in the rest. I think I want to do this one right here. The reason why I went with the transparency is because I wanted to be able to see through everything. I thought that's kind of cool. So you can kind of see things, bits and pieces, you know, peeking out. This needs to be up here. And then I'm going to put this one. And I never know how these things come together until they're together. Like I've never loaded an envelope before like this. So it's fun. of these I'm going to put down here to the ATCs down here and I think I'll put hmm my tags. Right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in my flowers. Changing my mind. Put that there. Yeah, that's better. Better there. dilemmas. Oh, I think I want it kind of right there. So far, so good. And now I'm going to go ahead and add these. Like I said, my thought in the paper clip is 
They can kind of hang out over the edge on here. There we go. Okay, so the lips are okay. But paper clips, man, they got to go. Good idea, just not gonna work. So I'll put those all here. They are smaller, so. See, and I've already lost two down there, but that's okay, because that's kind of cute on the bottom like that. There you go, okay. that. Let me put this back in here. And I think it's pretty much almost done. I kind of like the hodgepodge of messiness myself. I think that's fun. But, you know, it's a Moulin Rouge theme. It's crazy. It's showgirls. It's Paris. It's all that fun stuff. So she can go ahead and um, use a lot of this as is, use it in her art, however she wants. But this is going to be her loaded envelope. And again, uh, the images I used, I got off a of calico collage. Um, the Moulin Rouge collage sheet was my inspiration. And then the Rhenea foil in the back is from Rhenea. So just wanted to let you guys know where my resources were. The transparency, I believe, is a basil transparency from my stash. And the washi tape that I used is also from my stash. But I really like it. I think that it came together pretty cute. It's a hodgepodge of fun. and. The whole point is that she has a good time going through it. That's that's the purpose of it. So I think she will. This took me probably about eight hours to do in total. So take that into consideration if you've never done one. I'm sure the next one I do, it won't take quite as long. I didn't mind though. I mean, I was totally having a ball with it. So I didn't mind that it was taking a long time to do it. I was thoroughly enjoying myself as I was doing it. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe if you haven't done so, and I will talk at you guys a lot later. Happy crafting!